Hi, I'm Ben the Learner and I read Stronger by Jeff Bowman. Welcome to the second episode of Ben the Reader. First of all, who is Jeff Bowman? Well, Jeff Bowman was at the wrong place at the wrong moment. He was at the finish line of the 2013 Boston Marathon, waiting for his girlfriend to complete her first marathon. Her relation was a little bit rocky, so he was there to support her in this challenge. Suddenly, Jeff Bowman noticed a very strange guy with a very strange behavior. A few seconds after, he looked again, but he was gone. And then, boom, the explosion. He wake up a few seconds after and realized that something was wrong. This is a picture of Jeff Bowman being rescued by three people. I took this picture from the National Post website. I choose not to show the bottom part of the picture because in fact, there's nothing to see. And when I say nothing, I mean Jeff Bowman's legs are gone. I don't want to spoil most of the story. You can Google it if you want or you can buy the book. So I just want to talk about the two elements I want to talk about that I really like. First, the book is simple. If you're like me, not a great reader, the book is good. Because Jeff Bowman wrote this book, and he's not Shakespeare. He doesn't have an English literature degree, and me neither. The guy is a normal guy working at Costco, so when I say the, the book is simple, it is a good way. I just want to say by this, that when you read it, you don't have to focus on complicated adjectives, and that's great. My other elements require a little bit more explanation. I want to talk about the struggle he encountered in his recovery. Not only he had to struggle personally, but he had also to struggle publicly. Because Jeff Bowman was not injured in a car accident in the middle of the countryside. No, he had his injury in a terror attack heavily covered by the media. So the picture that I showed before was in the news and the people started to give him money. Not only for the people who got injured, but for Jeff Bowman personally. So with this money he received, he could pay a very high-tech pair of artificial legs. But with all this attention and coverage came some responsibility. Yes, he received a lot of money, but a lot of invitation too. And those invitations was part of the Boston strong slogan that was a response from the people of Boston. They wanted to show they refused to give up to this terror attack. You can see a picture here of him waving a Boston Strong Grooms banner. He went also to Red Sox Boston's game. He received an invitation. When he refused, people were disappointed, of course. They told him he is a public figure. He must appear. This is his responsibility. Sometime he didn't want to go, but he, he went anyway. And at the end, he came out of that stronger than ever. I can't understand Jeff Bowman, well, not exactly because I didn't lose my leg, but imagine the guy just wanted to heal alone. Imagine he, his eardrum was damaged, he lost both his legs. Imagine the psychological difficulty of that. All those things we consider granted, he could not do anymore. The book really pinpointed this internal struggle he was living. Overall, I found the story really great. There is also a movie, but I didn't see it. I went on the web and apparently it's really based on the book. So if you're a fast reader, this is a kind of book you can buy at the airport while you wait for your plane. I think it will give you smile and a sense of joy and hope for tomorrow. If you have suffered similar pain, it may help you. Or if, like me, you didn't, it will make you appreciate the chance you have. So that's it for my review of Jeff Bowman's book, Stronger. See you next time on the next episode of Ben the Reader.